Hey guys, it's me, Steven from Steven, uh, Prince of the Void, and uh, I want to do a video game collection for the Nintendo GameCube. So, let's get into it. Starting things off, we have MVP Baseball 2004. As you should know that I am a, as, to let you guys know, I am a big complete and box collector. So as I, oh, I, I also do these lecture videos, I'll show you the, um, disc art, as what the disc, or the cartridge is as well, if I'm doing a cartridge based collection. So this, this video style is going to be titled, My GameCube Collection 2021, because that's when I completed this collection. And that's how I'm going to list these collection videos. So next up we have Madden NFL 2002. A lot of sports games for this collection. Sports and movie based video games. These I got at a um, second hand shop, as I call pawn shops. Um, Madden NFL 2003. Haven't really played the sports games on GameCube. I just got them for collection purposes. Next up, we have The Sims. In my opinion, the worst one of the GameCube Sims games. Just really difficult. Again, this bunch here, I got at a pawn shop for relatively cheap. Um, I didn't plan before shooting this video, so I may be all over the place. So next up, I got this one at a different pawn shop, and that is SpongeBob SquarePants Creature from the Krusty Krab. Not a big fan of this game either, to be honest. It's one of the last few, it's the last 3D platformer SpongeBob game. On the GameCube, yes, it also was cross-gen with the Wii, with the Wii. I got this one from a hobby shop, The Incredibles. So these next three was when I started shopping on eBay for my game collections. I'll start things off with Batman Vengeance. I got this from Puerto Rico, actually. I actually got two games from the same seller from Puerto Rico around the time I got this. I mean, there's better Batman games, but not on the GameCube, in my opinion. Batman just didn't play. Batman, oh, Batman Vengeance just didn't play well on the GameCube. Sorry for getting too close. Um, next up we have Need for Speed Carbon. For some reason, the GameCube didn't have too many great games that I have here in my library. Carbon was just... I mean, I love Carbon, but the GameCube controller was fell off with Carbon. And we're off to a bad start when I start saying game. All the games start being up to this point were either for collection purposes or just straight up terrible. But we get to change that because this is one of the best games on the platform. SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. This came from the same person I bought Batman Vengeance off of. And as I said, it keeps things really well neat in Puerto Rico. Going from terrible games to a pretty good game. This is a really good game. I've beaten this like four times on the GameCube. Really enjoyed that one. These next games I got from a friend. I haven't played really any of them other than this one, which will say, which is Call of Duty 2 Big Red One. I've only played the first mission and the game started skipping. So I don't know how rare Call of Duty 2 Big Red One is. But I heard it's 
I you I heard it used to be one of the old good ones. I think this is the only Call of Duty on GameCube, I could be wrong. Next up we have Gun. I played a little bit of this on Xbox 360. I don't play Xbox anymore, nor will I ever do a collection for Xbox. But this one looks like it could be a fun game. Next up we have Medal of Honor Rising Sun. This is my only two disc game in my collection. So I'll just show you both discs at the same time. Make sure I put part one top and part two at the bottom. Haven't played this game. It looks again, another game that looks like fun. So does this one. Medal of Honor Frontline. I'm a big first-person shooter person. I do like a call. I do like playing Call of Duty. I can't wait for the next-gen Nintendo console to feature Call of Duty. Just, we haven't had Call of Duty on Nintendo consoles since Black Ops 2 and Ghosts. Were the last two Call of Duty games on Nintendo consoles? Um, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 06. Um, Again, just another game for the sports library of for this platform. Or just in general, came with the, all these games leading up to this one. Or were given from a friend. And this last one from a friend was Outlaw Golf. Haven't played none of these games other than the Call of Duty 2. So, a lot of these look like fun, including this one. Now these last few I bought off eBay to round out my collection, and most of the most of the good most of the games in my GameCube collection are either sports or movie. And we got three movie games out of these last five. There's 20 games in total. So starting off with the movie video game, we have Madagascar, which is pretty good. I really like this one. When it comes to movie games, this is a really good. 3D platformer. Next up, this is one of my favorite games on the console. Talk about Sims, we have The Sims 2. The fun fact, I had this case for a long time. Bought the game separate, bought the manual separate. So all three of these are from three different people. But I still enjoy the Sims 2, the original Sims 2, on Xbox, PS2, and GameCube era. Another movie video game, SpongeBob SquarePants, the movie. Complete in box, another 3D, a good 3D platformer, just like Battle for Bikini Bottom. I really love, I played the crap out of this game. Next up is probably my favorite game on this platform. The GameCube tied Tasmanian Tiger 2 Bush Rescue. I would have said HD, but it's not the HD version. I've beaten this four times, and I've 100 percent of this game on PlayStation as well as Switch. Two times on Switch and once on PlayStation. And I actually speed ran the PlayStation 4 version of the game. And in the final game, another good game, movie video game, Shrek 2. Another 3D platformer game that is just a lot of fun. So that's the end of my GameCube collection. Um, so if you're new to the channel and want to see more game collections in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button, like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.